Hey guys, this is Robert with RC1 Hobbies, and we're going to do a soldering video on soldering the XT90 battery connectors. These are some of the easiest battery connectors to solder, uh, and they're big. They, they also come in smaller sizes, the XT60. Uh, we're going to use this one for an example, so let's get to it. We're going to zoom in and do our soldering job. Okay, one of the most important things to do is when you're going to solder a battery connector for these XT90s is you want to put, when you have these bare wires, you want to put the, the cap on first. So when you get done solder, soldering, you can snap the cap in position. Uh, in this case, I don't have a battery attached to it, but it does need to happen uh, or you won't have this cap on once you're done soldering. Uh, and it does make it um, more difficult to have a battery on it uh, because you do have to be careful with these connections touching you don't want them to touch on a live battery so you keep them uh, only do one at a time and install the one uh, and don't trim both at the same time so they don't touch so we're gonna st strip our wire first we're gonna go let's see here it looks like a two millimeter gauge Exposed there, cut off about an eighth of an inch, something of that nature. You can go a little farther on this wire connector because it is rather large and safe. <clears throat> so we want to tin this wire. And we want to tin it with adding a little bit of flux first. Flux always helps me. I'm not a professional solderer, so the flux helps me. So in this case, we're ready to add the solder to the soldering iron first. Then we apply the heat to the wire, and as it heats the wire, we add some solder. There we go. That's plenty good there. So we wipe off our soldering iron, replace it in the holster. We can let that cool by sanding that aside and go to our connector. So these plugs, we want to connect the positive for the red and the negative for the black or the white, whatever you have. So in this case, we have red. So we have the connector in the alligator clip. And in this case, I want to lean the connector backwards somewhat here so the solder will stay solder will stay here because it has a unique design that has like a half pipe shape we don't want it pouring out we want the solder to stay in there so <clears throat> with our red wire tinned uh, this connector has already been tinned but I can show you the process. Basically, stick in your soldering iron in there. Touching the solder to the iron and making contact with the battery connector, heating up the battery connector. You can see it's already ready. And now, we could actually install our wire while it's liquid. Put the soldering iron on top and it all becomes one hold in place till it cools like so that's done so we look at that nicely done these are so easy to do so that's done so let's switch to the other negative side which has already been tinned um, so we want to tin our strip our wire and tin that too. So we'll use the other side of the alligator clips for that process. So we got to strip our wire with the two millimeter stripper size. Place it in our alligator clip. Get our solder flux ready.
making sure we don't get any wires frayed get our solder ready and our soldering iron ready so we want to add solder to the soldering iron to help aid in heating of the wire and then we add the solder to the hot wire and it came out really nice so now we can move on to doing the connector itself for the final process again this battery connector has already been tinned but let's heat it up and get it alive make it look nice and shiny <clears throat> alright look at that so since we have excess solder on our white wire we shouldn't have to add any so we're gonna sandwich that in there looks like we could add some solder here so let's do that if the connector comes loose that's alright we'll re-adhere it there it is we're adding some solder there Grab a wire, put it in place, hold in position, and let it cool. Okay, we're all done with soldering our battery connection. We pull on it, make sure it's in there good, and then we slide on our insulator cap, and that's all done. So this is actually a male, the same as the female as far as the soldering procedure goes, and you're all done. So that concludes our video on soldering an XT90. I hope you enjoyed that. You can leave comments below. Subscribe. I'd like or dislike if you don't like it. Uh, and until next time, see you later.